Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at symptoms of bad water pump. As you can see here, there are different shapes and sizes of water pumps. We are going to see some of the top symptoms of bad water pump. So the primary function of the water pump is to circulate the coolant to regulate engine temperature. It will circulate the coolant to, from the radiator to the engine block, and it will also circulate coolant to the water jacket. For example, on this particular water pump, fan is, it will be driven by a V-belt, pulley will be installed right here, and then water from the radiator will be admitted to the water pump through this intake pipe. So from the radiator, water will be supplied here. And when the engine is starting and when the water pump is spinning, it will pump water out into the engine and cylinder block. So this is the function of the water pump. No matter what the shape, the principle of operation is the same. When the water pump is driven by a V-belt, it will have this type of vents that are driving the water pump. So these are the vents that are going to pump the water and that facilitate the flow of the water. So this is how the coolant is driven. Irrespective of the shape and size, the principle of operation is the same. For example, on this big water pump, we have water coming from the radiator supplied to this side. And then when this is spinning, there are blades that are right there. They will pump water from this side, which is connected to the lower side and then it will be pumping water out to the engine block. So by doing so, the water pump ensures coolant flow evenly through all the engine components, through the water jacket, through the radiator, and all those parts that are in need of. Now there are some symptoms of a bad water pump. For example, the number one symptom that indicates that there is a problem with the water pump is engine overheating. When the water pump is not functioning as it should, the circulation of the coolant will be reduced and that will lead to engine overheating. So the number one symptom of a bad water pump is engine overheating. The other is coolant leakage. You see there are water pump holes, indicating holes. If there are damage to the bearings and to the bearing seals, water will start seeping out of this hole. There are holes that indicate internal damage of the water pump. So if you see water coming out of these holes, there is a hole here, there is another hole here. If you see water coming and dripping out of the, this passage, it indicates that the ceiling has failed, so the water pump is going bad. For example, on this big water pump, you can see there is a even mark of the coolant leakage. See right here? This is seepage of the water due to failed seal. So if water starts flowing out of here, that look coolant leak, leaky water pump, could be an indication of damaged water pump. The other indication of a bad water pump is noisy operation. So when the engine is driving the water pump, it should be a silent operation. But if there is a problem, if there is an internal damage or internal problem to the bearings and the water pump, it will start to be noisy. Failing water pump can cause unusual noise. If you hear grinding noise, squeaking noise, whining noise near the water pump, that is an indication of water pump going bad. Engine temperature fluctuation is another indication of a failing water pump. If the water pump is not uniformly circulating the coolant throughout the engine, that will cause engine temperature fluctuation. So the temperature gauge may fluctuate erratically Sometimes it will indicate you a normal operating temperature. Sometimes it spikes and then goes down. So fluctuation of this kind is an indication of bad water pump. If there is a steam or vapor coming from the engine bay, that is also another indication of a failing water pump. If the engine is running normal, there should not be any steam. There should not be no steam coming out of the engine side. But if the water pump is not circulating efficiently, you might see steam coming out of the engine bay that could be an indication of a water pump failure and uh, that would be an indication of engine overheating as well low coolant level is also sometimes an indication of failing water pump so if the water pump is not circulating the coolant so that it can dissipate the heat the water will start to leak out due due to high pressure buildup in the cooling system so 
it could be due to leaky water pump or it could be due to steaming out of the coolant if, if there is frequent low coolant level in the engine that could be an indication of a failing water pump and finally if you happen to notice that there is wobbling at the pulley the pulley should be driven smooth it should be running smoothly if you see any wobbling from the pulley side that could be an indication of bad water pump failing pump can cause the pulley to wobble or it could cause some type of noise if if you if you rotate it by hand and if you see that there is some wobbling that could also be an indication of a failing water pump so these are some of the top indications of a failing water pump remember the number one indicator of a failing water pump is water coming out of this passage holes there is a hole here there are holes here there are holes here indicating failure of the seal there is a seal that prevents coolant leakage to this side coolant should not be leaking to the bearing side there are bearings here and that is followed by a spring loaded seal if the seal fails usually due to extreme temperature and due to wear and tear they will stop sealing if that seal fails water start to drip out so if you see part of water or coolant around the water pump or underneath the vehicle that could be the first indication of a failing water pump that usually if the water pump is not functioning properly for example if these blades are not functioning properly if they are corroded and if they are damaged that will somehow restrict coolant circulation and that will lead to engine overheating so these are some of the top symptoms of a failing water pump well in another video we will have a look at what causes water pump failure but in this video that is all we have for you regarding some of the top symptoms of a failing water pump to sum it up overheating coolant leak noise engine temperature fluctuation the steam or vapor coming from the engine bay low coolant level and wobbling water pump fully are some of the indicators of a failing water pump so if you notice any of this problem have it fixed immediately because if the water pump is left unattended that can lead to engine overheating engine overheating can be very damaging to the engine it will lead to seizure it could lead to cylinder head warpage and it could lead to costly repair so if you happen to suspect that there is a problem with the water pump please have it inspected and repaired as soon as possible otherwise it will lead to very expensive and costly repair don't ignore signs of trouble in the water pump well that is all we have for you in this video if you like this video please smash the like button if you are new here do subscribe and turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video until then stay safe